All right, guys, welcome to episode 122 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how the fuck we rock, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? There's many ways of just showing support and love. You know what I mean? You always yeah. got to buy something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know if you're rocking, man. And we're back. We're back. We're back. We're Episode back. 122, man. How we feeling today, bro? We back. We back. Yeah, man. We out here. We feeling good. We feeling all right. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful motherfucking Tuesday. Beautiful Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we're alive. Yeah, thank God, man. Thank God we're, we're alive. We're here. We got another day, another opportunity. You know what I'm saying? To make things better for ourselves and for people around us, all right? To be good. So, round you know of I mean? applause to that. A round of applause to that. But listen, go ahead, light your blunt, light your joint, pack your ball, pack your bowl, get your dab rigs ready, your edibles, whatever the fuck you're rocking with, man, get that popping, because we here to fucking talk today, bro. Yeah, whatever whatever the fuck is going on, man, we got some things we want to talk about. We got you know some what I mean? things, man. We got some things. For example, Johnny Boy, let me ask you a question, man. You know, everybody sleeps differently, right? Everybody has their own little rituals, whatever, before they go to sleep, whatever, you know? Little thing. Do you sleep with socks on? <laughs> Do I sleep with socks on? I mean, it depends on the temperature of the house. Like, my house, it's cold. You know what I mean? It's cold. We like it cold. So, I get a little bit fucking cold here and there. My feet get, get a little bit cold. I'm a cold foot motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, my shit's... I know, like, if I cold feet quick. Like, if I touch you, it feels like an ice cube touching your fucking... I swear to God, my hands too. You know what I mean? I have, like, cold hands and shit. So, I don't know, man. Like, I, I sleep with socks most of the time. Word? Yeah. Yeah, nah. I think you're a fucking psychopath if you sleep with socks. Nah, bro. I, I be... I even be hitting the cheeks, bro. I be hitting the cheeks and socks, bro. I be slipping and sliding and shit, like frozen, bro. No bro, cap. Yeah, nah, bro. I sleep butt booky fucking naked, bro. If there was a fire in this bitch, you gonna see some meat slinging, bitch, because I'm be out this motherfucker running <laughs> butt <Bruh>. naked. <laughs> nah, bro. Fucking yeah, man. Like last night, I slept naked but with socks. You know oh, I mean? you're a fucking serial killer. <laughs> yeah, bro. And- <laughs> I don't know, man. Sometimes, <laughs> yo. Sometimes my socks don't match either. I'm like one of those. Yeah, bro. Of- it's like wearing fucking Jesus sandals with socks. What are you doing? <laughs> nah, bro. Fucking. It's just sometimes I just, I just don't care, you know. And it's like fuck them, you know. I'm wearing long you're pants. Wearing, you wear the it. black socks that come up to your shin and shit. Yeah. <laughs> My mom, she told me, she's like, you better just, you need to stop doing that shit, for real, because women notice that. Women notice the, like, the little inch off of the fucking, the socks. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, like, I've always told you like- that. I, I always used to look at your ankles at work, bitch, <laughs> when we were at Just Boys and be like, yo, this nigga look homeless from the shin down. Bro, I swear to God, bro, his boots all fucked, untied, one fucking Nike tube sock, the other one's an ankle sock and yeah. shit. It's like, damn. Bitch. Like, you, you can afford a pack of $9 socks, Bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> and you know what, bro? That leads me into the conversation of the underwear situation I was oh, telling you about. Yeah. That underwear situation is pretty crazy because I know everybody here has that one pair of underwear they say for the end of the fucking week. Yeah, I know it's it. The, it's I either the it. pair you don't like or the shitty pair. Yeah, it's whatever the one, it is. It's the one with They're the fucking both. hole, the one that's fucking, it straps around your thighs. Yeah, too, the one that like. Thighs. <laughs> Because they're fucking too tight. The one know? that's the fucking, the, the waistband's broke, so it's fucking kind of loose. You it's, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, it's like fucking women when they have their period. They have their fucking panties for the fucking, for their fucking week of fucking bleeding and shit. And then they got their nice yeah, fucking panties got, that. They got to put a whole outfit around that shit, bro. I feel for y'all <laughs> ladies, man. Y'all got to, y'all got to watch the panties, the pants. The pants, bro. You got to put your little fucking, you know what I'm saying, hoodie around your fucking waist and yeah, shit. Yeah, because that shit will come through. That shit will bleed through. I've seen it happen, bro. And I, I felt it bad. Yeah, bro. me too. I've seen I it happen. Bad. Yeah, white pants, no good. Yeah, well, you're just a fucking savage if you're, you know, if you're going out with white pants and you know you got your fucking days. Well, maybe it just fucking, you know, hey, I mean, women. <laughs> Well, do you know like do you know exactly when it's gonna come every month like or do you just like ah oh, you know if it comes it comes 
You know what I mean? <laughs> because there's some women that are like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, I feel like some women are irregular. Other yeah. women are like, fuck, bro. They have a period for like four months straight. I'm like, I don't know. They're weird, <laughs> bro. Like, they're fucking weird. Y- y'all go down in the comments and let us know, bro. Yo, bro, you are not, bro. You are not a dog. Stop. <laughs> I feel like dogs be having the longest periods, bro. I'm not playing Yo, with you. Listen. I'm not playing with you. For real, my dog, my my boxer. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. I remember before I got Aubrey Fix, she was fucking dripping and dropping everywhere. And got, drip, drop, swag. Drip, drop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dripping and dropping. Nah, that was crazy though, because it's like it's rough, bro. So you, if I if if I were you, I would just get some diapers. You know what I mean? Put some fucking little panties on them and it'd be good to go. Yeah, yeah, you know bro. I mean? you, they have like little dog fucking pampers and shit. Yeah, bro. But nah, I just but don't, you, I don't miss having a girl dog. I just don't. Yeah, I want a boy dog. Yeah. Like, I love my dog. You know, she's seven years old. And once she goes, man, like, I'm I'm going to get, like, the German Shepherd boy that I want yeah. from the beginning. Like, <laughs> no, for real. And it's no offense to her, bro. But, like, it's just I rescued her because she was, you know, she was going to end up in, like, a pound or something. And I was just like, you know what? I'm already looking for a dog. She's not the dog I'm looking for, but... Fuck it. But I love that fucking dog, bro. Yeah, yeah. Her. She's a good she's dog. She's smart as fuck. Yeah, You bro. see it, bro. I'll be like, hey, come here. Like, she'll ignore me, but when she sees I'm serious, bro, she, <laughs> <laughs> she runs ass right into that cage, bro. bro like, she gets so excited, bro. She's gained some weight. She's looking kind of healthy, too. She's 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 looking good. Yeah, bro. She was fucked up for a little bit after that surgery, dog. You know yeah. I mean? She was skinny as fuck. Yeah, she was like, she just wasn't feeling too good for a little bit, but she's back, man. She bounced back. She's cooling now. But listen, man, something that, listen. Something that guys do that I know girls do too, right? What? Take a piss in the shower. Taking piss in the motherfucking shower. Take a shower. piss in the shower. Listen, if round of applause yeah. to anybody that has the balls to admit it. You know what I'm saying? I take a piss in the motherfucking shower. Like, Listen, bro. Like sometimes I, that shit just, it's warm. Sometimes it's warm. And if you don't, you're fucking crazy and you're fucking lying. You're a lying sack of shit. You're a liar, bro. but how do so girls do it? you just get out of the fucking shower wet and take a piss in the toilet? What do you do? Do girls squat when they're in the shower or is it they just let oh, it go? Oh, no. Nah, they, they, they just, they let, just let that shit run down their legs just like Niagara up. Falls. Like, <laughs> let the water wash it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, that's crazy though, bro. I can't I can't imagine fucking being a girl, bro. I can't imagine it. Yeah, it's man. It's tough. It's a tough you world guys, out there for you. You guys are different. I salute y'all, man. We salute y'all because it's tough. You bro. got a tough life. You can't pee wherever the fuck you want. Yeah, that's facts. You know, I mean you can't like you always catch them, you know what I'm saying, trying to hide behind the car. And then the other friend, there's like two drunk friends trying to like block the view and they're not blocking shit. Yeah. It's and like, stop! Yeah. You fucking perv! Go away! And I'm yeah. like, yo, my car's over here. I don't give a fuck about your friend taking a piss by this tire. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to go home. Like, <laughs> for real. I, I don't know. I've only witnessed, I got a homegirl that did that. And she's cool. You know her. She's cool as fuck. But she just, she went around the cut. And she she squatted and she hey, got she, she got it done. No oh, salute. Listen, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do because I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna go take a piss around the corner. Nah, for real. Like like if it hits, it'll be like, yo, bro. That was me last hey, night. Hey, like <laughs> shout out to fucking Chris, man. We were on the way to Bush Gardens. I made that nigga pull over. I was like, bro, I gotta take a piss like right now, bro. <laughs> I just pulled over, bro. Opened the front door, opened the back door, bro. I was taking a piss for so long. He's like, damn. <laughs> I don't think my bladder could even hold that much fucking water. <laughs> yo, I was taking a piss for like three minutes yo, straight, bro. I swear to God. Bro, but yo, when it hits, it fucking hits, bro. bro. When you hold that fucking urine. <laughs> When you hold that fucking urine for six hours, bro, and you fucking release that fucking stream. Yeah, it's better than busting a nut. Bro, I'm you, sorry. I'm it like, is. I, f- I feel like the best a things in life are free. You ever, you ever see those fucking old men that just fucking dig into their fucking pants? I don't know what the fuck they grabbing, but they got a bigger slong than me. This motherfucker's grabbing a fucking anaconda, and he fucking takes that bitch out. I'm like, damn, bitch, how long is it going to take? I'm waiting for me to go. And I see this guy, he just goes, Oh, I was like, damn. No, listen, I get it. Walk, I get it now. No, bro, you lean on the wall. <laughs> it's about to be, yo, go to the next fucking store. Go to the next fucking uh, urinal because it's about to be about five minutes before that man fucking lets go of that wall, bro. Nah, bro. That's the signature sign of I'm about to take a horse piss. Or you ever sure fucking been up. like break checked? And you had to fucking take a piss and you're just like, holy fuck. Like the fucking seatbelt like wraps around your fucking, <laughs> your fucking gut. And Yo, they fu- I'm not going to lie. The worst time that I've ever had to go take a piss in my fucking life where I couldn't, it was, we were on the way to Key West. 
And if anybody knows anything about going to Key West, there's a bridge Seven that's miles. literally like fucking 10 miles long. <laughs> yo, bro. Worst fucking. Th- yo, I was on that bus like, yo. <laughs> like, yo, y'all might have to clean up some piss on the fucking seat number Damn, nine. Damn, <laughs> y'all went on a school bus. My dog took a trip to Key West on a school hey, bus. Hey, we out. <laughs> Yo. We made it though, bro. I think my piss nigga was cool. Yo, was Key West, cool. Key West is pretty nice. Uh, I've been there a couple times, you know, for fishing and shit like that. It's nice. It's beautiful. Nah, it's, it's a really, it's, it's a really nice. It's spot. Fucking far though. Seven hours. Dog. Seven yeah, hours. Nah. But to be real, I'd rather go the extra hour and a half to go there than to go to Miami. Yeah, Key West is like, more. It's more. more nice. It's more laid back. It's more secluded. You know yeah, what I'm yeah saying? more nature. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's more about fishing and just beaches and shit like that. Yeah, a lot of gay people too. I mean, I'm not even kidding, bro. They there's have, a lot of haunted shit down there too. Like, there's a lot of history. Yeah, that too. A lot of fucking buried treasure, man. Supposedly, you know what I mean? Supposedly, I don't know. I'm yeah, just fucking, I'm just bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking, fucking bullshit. bullshit. Nah, but you know what's bullshit though? I don't know if y'all seen this shit recently. It's Gunner's fucking outfit. All right? man, put the shit up. Right this here. fucking guy, Fuck. bro, showed me a picture of Gunner's outfit. Yo, and my, it was just like, look at this shit. Look, and this motherfucker it's got like, fucking. Bro, you look like the fucking. He got boots. <laughs> you look are, like the gay uncle at the barbecue. The boots go up to the like to the beginning of the knee, so you got to this I don't space think left. Boots, bro. I swear to God, that that shit just might be something that's like attached, attached to his shoe. I don't know, bro. Regardless, I think, I, think the- <laughs> I, I think at this point, I think at this point, people just do it just for the attention because their music is not going as well. So I'm gonna wear some hey, weird he, ass shit. He got us because we're talking. I don't know yeah. what fucking last song he dropped, but I'll tell you what, them boots ain't it, my boy. He made that song. <laughs> uh, damn, I don't know. You're damn right. I don't know. I don't the remember song. the last song he, he did dropped. with Little Baby, man. When he was like. Nigga, that sold was like out dates three years ago, <laughs> fucking four years ago. Sold I swear. Out dates, da, 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 da. They no, they slid that motherfucker. Yeah, butt. but Gunna wrote uh, Lil Baby's verse. He might have. No, no, but, no, no, no. Oh, they he, said he, it. He, well, Lil Baby said he's like, yeah, Gunna used to write all my songs for me before I started like really getting to the. Mm. Yeah, that's why Gunna and Lil Baby. Gunna, like shout that. out to Gunna, man. Yeah. Round of applause to Gunna. But your outfit's still trash, my boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you look. I'm telling you, bro. You, look you sound like, the same. Y'all, all, y'all yeah. all sound the same. I feel like they, I feel like they started that though. Yeah, I think like Gunna and Lil Baby started that little Young fucking. Thug. Yeah, nah, Doug was like Doug was different, bro. I don't know. I there was only like two songs that I ever really, really liked from Young Thug because he was like screaming on that shit, bro, yeah. like a high pitched voice. Thugga, thugga. Yeah, bro. I remember when fucking Lil Wayne was like, bro. <laughs> I ain't trying to fuck with you, bro. Like, you trying to name your album The Barter. The Barter He said it looks just like him in the fucking thing. I was like, bro, you are not a little wave, bro. Stop. No, no, no. You're nowhere. No, no. I'm sorry, Thugger. <laughs> thugger. But you're nowhere close to Wayne. I'm I, sorry, bro. I Wayne miss, is a goat. I miss Thugger with Rich Homie Kwan. That's what I miss. I miss when Thugger Thugger and Rich Homie Kwan were like a duo. Yeah, and they were man. coming up together. Fuck. And uh, Rich people, Homie Kwan people, had some bangers. I listen more to Rich man. Homie Kwan than I did to, to Young Thug. Yeah, like the one like, song that that popped Young Thug off. I think it was Stoner. Yeah, it was and it was all right. It was all right, but I was just like, I don't know, bro. There's just certain shit that ain't for you, and you know it from the first time you <laughs> listen to it. Nah, when I heard that, I was like, I fuck with this song. I don't know why. I just like it. I just it was so different to me. And then like nah, it was different. And then when he came out with some other shit, I was like, ah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. But now nah, he's a smart dude. He's a good businessman. And without Young Thug, Lil Durk want to be where he's at. Lil Durk said nah, it. Nah, he's influential to the game. Yeah. He's influential to the game. But yeah. that doesn't mean everybody got like him. <laughs> yeah. You know nah, I, mean? I mean, there's a lot of people that don't like him. I mean, I don't like his style. I don't like the way he dresses. I don't like, I don't even like the way he talks. I don't think I fucking like him at all. I don't fucking all. like him at all, but fucking. Salute to him. Salute to him. I don't gotta <laughs> like you, brother. I will still respect nah, you. Facts. That's a fact. I don't gotta like you to give you your flowers for the shit you've done. Yeah. What the fuck? fuck? Like up. if you fucking made that's made some hating that ain't good shit. Like that's some hating ass nigga shit. Like bro, like I may not like you as a motherfucking person, but guess what? You fucking made a good song. Facts. Congrats. Big facts. You know what I mean? Cool. You know what I mean? But hey, you're still a piece of shit. Still fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and you still dress like a girl. Nah, listen, man. I'll tell you something, bro. It's crazy how time changes things. Things change through time, right? Because I remember back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. People had nothing to say. People had nothing to say. <laughs> now they want to come and rain the parade. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, listen, bro. 
I remember back in the day, bro, I used to take things a lot, you know, more personally. I used to not think things through. Like, if somebody owed me some motherfucking money, right? Like, Yo. I'm coming to get that money. Bro. Yeah, I need something. I'm going to take your rims. Ten, no, 10 years ago. No, no, that's a fact. Like, I need <laughs> something in exchange for what you owe me, an equivalent amount of money or merchandise or whatever the fuck you got. But I need my money. Bitch, you better fill you know my saying? tank. You better fill my tank but every not, time. Not you, ride, you ride out. Like, you got to pay me something, bro. Like, what the fuck? And if you're a girl, you better... Yeah, nah, bro. Gas, grass, ass. Yeah, gas, grass, ass. You're getting the fuck out of here. But nah, bro. Like nowadays, if somebody just owes me money, man, honestly, I don't even take it like a loss. I just take it like a lesson and be like, oh, this person ain't trustworthy, and I, I can't trust you with a fucking piece of paper. Then I can't trust you with nothing. So, well, I mean, it cost me sixty dollars to get you out of my fucking life, right? Never fucking hear from me ever fucking again. Facts. Like the fucking uh, Bronx Tale scene when he was like, yo, bro, fuck you. I'm going to fuck you up. And he was like, yo, why are you yelling in the middle of the street? And he was like, oh, he owes me money. He's like, how much does he owe you? He's like, 20 bucks. He's like, is he your friend? He's like, no. He's like, do you like him? He's like, no. He's like, well, bitch, then you just got rid of him for 20 bucks. Yeah, he's never gonna fucking talk to you ever Facts. again. Like you'll yeah. never fucking hear from him again. You ever for see twenty the, bucks? Like ever, it's a ch- it's a cheap fucking thing. Like nah, people will avoid you for like fucking nothing <laughs> for like nothing. five dollars. It's like damn, bro. Like, you, like, <laughs> like damn, bro. I haven't heard from you in like six years, bro. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, bro. You know I've been busy and shit. I'm like, yeah, right. You owe me fucking five dollars, nah, bitch. Bro, Give me my forget. five dollars. I don't forget. That's today's fucking half a subway sub, bitch. Fuck sw- out of here. Nah, not no more, bro. Them subs are like fucking twelve dollars now, bro. I haven't gone there in so long. Ever since that nigga got caught with all them kids, bro. I'm straight. Ever since I found For out real. they stopped fucking making, uh, not making it, but they they. Uh, they went to court. Somebody that worked there was like, listen. Oh, yeah. The tuna had no tuna. Yeah. Like, it what was not real fuck? tuna. Like, they took the tuna and he paid out of his own fucking money and said, yo, I'm going to fucking get this shit tested. I'm going to prove everybody that they are serving fucking the people fake fucking artificial fucking tuna. And guess what? He was right. He was so, right. So, fuck Subway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and whenever you have a fucking tuna sandwich and fucking yo, shit but your brains out. Has anybody ever done that for McDonald's and like... <laughs> I don't know. Some nuggets, bro. Sometimes I don't know. Last bro. night, bro, I was hungry <laughs> as a motherfucker, and I was like, right, really, really close to stopping at McDonald's, and I was like, I just, I just can't do it no more. Yeah, no, nah, bro. Something I'm not gonna it. lie, I fucking do it, but I mean, it's, it's bad for you, bro. I mean, it's 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 bad for you, it's, it's bad for you. and uh, I just had a slice of pizza, and I was like, man, like I'll, I'll live with that. Oh, so you had just yeah. ate. Yeah, and then I was still fucking hungry, and I was just like, bro. Yeah, you be doing that a lot, bro. This bruh. nigga eat every fucking hour on the hour type bruh, shit. Bruh, I swear to God, to. It's crazy. I just ate a whole fucking plate of food, and I'm fucking prepping for the next this one. This nigga's wild. I'm the complete opposite. It's weird. Like, I, I'll eat one meal a day, bro. I swear, I'll eat one big meal a day, and then that's it. Like, but that's bad, bro. Like, I had a few of my boys like, bro, that's why you can't lose your weight as much as, you know. Yeah, you got to eat be, more. You know I mean? Like, it's crazy, bro, how the body is, bro. Because you would facts. expect your body to lose weight when you just eat one meal. Right. But it's like. But you got to eat, like, different that, shit throughout yeah. the day. Every couple hours, eat a meal and then snacks in between. So, you're, it's pretty much just you kickstarting your metabolism. So, yeah. it, it fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's It burns like, that fat. And then, like. That supplement shit's been helping me out. It's been cutting me up a little bit just because, like, I would usually wait a couple hours to have a meal after my workout. Yeah. And that's not good. So, no, like, you got to do it right after. So, right when I get home, I have that protein, that protein sheet yeah. and that shit fills up my, my muscles with the amino acids. And and all have that you shit. noticed that, like, that shit, like, you don't get as hungry too? Yeah, I don't get like, that after, sore. You, after you drink that, like, you. You could go a couple hours without eating. Yeah, it's a meal mm-hmm. replacement. Yeah, and then yeah. um, you don't get as sore because they provide, like, the muscles, mm-hmm. like, they with the recovery. So, like, I don't get a sore as much as I used to. I used to be sore, like, three, yeah, the four only, days. Bro, the only time I get sore is leg day. That's it. Like, leg day, every, like, you just, you know, if you go hard enough, you're going to get sore. Yeah. But it's, but no, nah, you're right, bro. That protein shit, like, protein. Well, we don't drink the same one, but, like, the protein shit helps, bro. That yeah. shit helps a lot. No, it helps. It helps big time. Um, Yeah, I like it, bro. So, if you guys want right. to know what it is, it's uh, it's called Carnivore. Check it out. I got it off of, uh, it's by Muscle Meds. That's the company, Muscle Meds. Yeah, and this ain't no sponsor. This ain't no paid ad or nothing. Nah, it's just what My I dog use. just uses that shit and he stands behind it. But if y'all want to, you know what I'm saying, rock with us. Yeah, hey, bro. You Fine. Know what I mean? Yeah, come over here. Bring your ass. Over here. Sponsor us, bro. Bring we'll, ass. Use it. we'll use it. Yeah, but, fuck these motherfuckers. But nah, man, it's crazy, right? I was having a conversation with one of my boys, right? <laughs> Shout out to my boy McKinnon, bro. My crazy white boy. 
Oh, he was shit. telling me, he was like, yo, bro, like, because he saw that I had my ears pierced, but he's like, I never see you wear earrings. I was like, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, like, I just don't wear earrings no more, whatever. He's like, bro, I got like 17 piercings or whatever the fuck he Holy said. I was like, God shit. damn, bitch, you wear fucking gooch piercings? Like, what the fuck? This nigga started talking about, yo, bro. <laughs> He said, when I was 19, me and my best friend, we walked into a motherfucking uh, tattoo shop, bro, and we both got a dick's piss. Oh, <laughs> I was my like, God. I was like, damn, bro, for real? And he was just telling me the story. He's like, yeah, bro, I got the ladder. Some, it's called something ladder. And I was like, bro, there's different types of dick piercing. He's like, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I was like, bro. Like, just, he put up. me on game, though. He's like, bro, women love that shit. I was like, for real, bro? He's like, yeah, bro, like, it's... It, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was like, of- nah, bro. Like, that nigga almost convinced me to get my fucking dick tip pierced. I'm not even going to lie. Ladies, yo, look, bro. go down in the comments. Let us know if you've ever had a guy with his dick pierced or, you know what I'm saying? If you ever fucking, you know what I mean? If you would like to experience that shit, like, if you have, how'd it feel? Because that shit, he was telling me some shit. I was like, damn, bro. I can't like, do that, bro. That shit's, man, I already feel fuck, nauseous. I, I might about have it. to, like, get super drunk or i don't know i don't i don't i, don't, I, don't I can't because i'll bleed a lot man i'm touching my penis just i'm literally rubbing it right now like oh my god oh no but that shit fucking hurts bro nah, that, that shit takes fucking balls. hurts that takes balls and uh yeah bro it, it, shout out to mckinnon bro a lot of cocaine that's you, pretty much that's, what it was a lot of cocaine welcome <laughs> Rock star. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I was walking downtown yesterday and I was with this chick and she was just like, wow. I was like, man, I like that girl. She got a nice ass. I was like, I was like, wow. I was like, wow. She's like, no, no, you know, I'm not like, I was like, no, no, no. I love that. Oh my God. Yeah, nah, bro. You, if I can't appreciate a body with you. Yeah, like, come then on. I don't need you around me. Yeah, like, wow, she has a nice ass. Like, that's pretty cool. You know, I didn't even say anything. She did. And I was just like, I yeah, think I'm in bro, love with nah, you. Women appreciate each other. Yeah. A lot more I than what they. I, I don't know, bro. It's weird. Like, like yeah, they like do until daughter. everything goes bad. Come and on. then they're like, this fucking ugly asshole. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, why can't guys appreciate each other like women do? You know what I mean? Like, man, nah, this guy bro, has a fucking do. massive fucking cock. <laughs> fucking. Congrats. He has a fucking whale dick. Congratulations, yeah. Anthony. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're fucking. you carrying uh, Thor's hammer over here. No, for real. That's like sweet fucking talk about Toby. He's like, this guy, I love this guy. This guy has a fucking horse cock. I was like, wow, this guy's fucking gay. I said, how do you even know that? He's like, man, I've been best friends with him since fucking fourth grade. I've seen his penis a couple times. And I was like, damn, bro. Nah, bro. You remember those days in the gym locker room? Yo, bro. bro. I've seen a lot of y'all penises. Don't yeah, fucking facts. Cap, like, don't cap, bro. Yeah. We all seen each other naked. We all used to fucking dress out next to each other. I've like, seen your fuck millimeter fucking penis. Yeah, bro. We know what's up. It's nah. okay. Bro, you ever see those kids, bro, when they come back to the locker room, they're like, damn, bro, my Jordan's a god. <laughs> bro, people used to, bro, if you trusted those locks in the gym locker room, bro, you got some fucking shit coming your way because, bro, I would never, ever leave anything electronic in the locker room, bro. People would fucking jack that shit in a heartbeat, bro. Them locks are popping out with just a fucking eyesight, a certain eyesight that can unlock that shit with your eyes, bro. I'm telling you, bro. And when those kids would start crying and be like, my joy is rough, my joy is... I'm like, damn. They got it, nah, you better find that nigga, bro. He's on, he's on campus. <laughs> yeah, until the you next... You better look at the backpack... You know what I'm saying? That's the fattest around this motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I used to fucking... <laughs> we used to do a lot of crazy shit in high school, bro. That was some good times, man. We used to fucking prank the TV. Not the TV, the teachers, because we would have a fucking remote control. A universal one, and we'd just shut off the TV. <laughs> Mid-fucking class, watching this fucking video. And be like, who fucking turned it off? There was one time the fucking officer came, and they were like, all right, we're going to search everyone's fucking book bag to find this fucking remote. <laughs> you got one, one more chance to cough it up. And no one fucking coughed up and they were searching. I felt bad for the people that had like weed on them and shit. And they're like, fuck. Hey, bro. He's like, no one's leaving this fucking classroom until we fucking find this remote. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Yeah, no, nah, we did. We have fun, man. We have fun in high school. But it was just like, that's like innocent shit. I, I don't really. know. Kids nowadays just go shoot that shit up. They're not, they're not playing no games, bro. It's different. Yeah. Times was changed, man. That was a different time, bro. Different time. It was good times. Yeah, no, nah, I had fun in high school, bro. I did, yeah. I did a lot of shit in high school. I've seen a lot of people get tased, pepper sprayed. Yeah, I wouldn't say a lot, but we, you know what I mean? Nah, it happened. Nah, it happened on school. It was like two or three times. It was one time with Fred, bro. It was like, it was a couple people I got arrested, but 
I don't know, bro. Like, I be hearing stories about niggas up north. They got metal detectors at school and shit. I'm like, y'all, nah, y'all got it. Yeah. <laughs> y'all are bringing like, You're going into fucking prison just to go to school, bitch. That's scary, bro. You got to walk through a fucking metal detector. I feel like I'm at the airport, bro. Nah. You don't get nervous that. walking through TSA even though you have nothing Hell, on you? No. I do. Because I don't have shit on me. Exactly, but I still get nervous for some reason. I just reason. get pissed because I'm like, bro, I have to show up an hour early for this bullshit no, they're right like here. take off your shoes take off your belts i'm like damn and then you walk through it's like beep 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 it's like what the fuck like, listen, I ain't got shit i got my me. dick tip pissed what the fuck <laughs> damn what is that even that would be crazy now you gotta step to the room to the side and show them the dick tip right quick bro because nah, nah. if not they're gonna wand you and think that you fucking not you playing i'm serious mm-hmm Nah, bro. I ain't He's like, I'm not that. showing you my fucking no, was, millimeter Peter. I was thinking about getting my nipples pierced, but then people were like, oh. I, yo, just the left one, bro. You yeah, I was both just, yeah, pierced. but some people were like, oh, that's gay. And I was like, you're just fucking mad because you got fucking <laughs> fat fuck boy nipples. These niggas, man. You, like, got, you got them pepperoni nipples, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bro. I got pepperoni nipples. I'll still get my nipple pierced, bro. I don't give a fuck. My shits are nice. Damn, bitch, but you got a carpet around that motherfucker. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, nah, listen. He got carpet burn. He got some fucking fucking hairy hairiness around oh, there. Huh? Shit, nah, bro. Yeah, yeah my yeah. dog, my I dog got, got a little motherfucking carpet on his chest board right quick. I be tricking I mean? motherfuckers. I be shaving my chest and my back until I take over my pants, boy. <laughs> I got a fucking bush in my crack. I'm gonna let you know right now, bro. My dog got a whole motherfucking bush gardens in his gooch. <laughs> I'll tell you what, <laughs> though. Oh my God. <laughs> he got Sheikra down there, bitch. Damn. I'll tell you what. <laughs> we appreciate everybody that's Sheikra. rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you're rocking. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch if you're rocking with us, man. And listen, don't forget. Don't yeah. forget, bro. Don't forget that we love you and we tell someone you. that you love them. Yeah, facts. Peace. 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 Up, peace. Freakers.